Some medical news now. For centuries, adult tooth loss has been handled with dentures. Dental implants are a more recent option. But what if living teeth could be grown in a lab? Researchers at UCSF are working on a technique that might someday make replacement teeth a reality. And so these patients have uh, too few teeth, and those teeth they do have are uh, improperly formed. When Dr. Ophir Klein looks at the badly deformed teeth in these patient photos, he dreams of someday being able to replace them, not with artificial dentures, but real teeth created in the lab. In the long run, you could imagine that you could, for example, take uh, the precursor organ itself that was not fully developed and implant it into a jaw and allow it to develop there. To make that kind of advance a reality, Klein's team is working to unlock the secrets of how stem cells form into teeth. Using mouse models, they're studying epithelial cells which differentiate to become hardened tooth enamel. And of course in the long run, the goal for people in this field is to try to be able to regenerate the entire tooth structure. But while his team works with the epithelial cells, he says other groups are concentrating on the cells that create the living tissue inside our teeth. For patients like those at the UCSF Dental School Clinic, the technique might offer the promise of regenerating a damaged tooth. Well, I think it would be a very promising thing for uh, people that have extensive dental caries and, um, you know, a way to actually restore their mouth. So one potential approach would be to implant cells into a partially viable tooth and enable uh, those tissues that have decayed to be reformed. Another approach would be to regenerate an entire tooth and implant that. That second strategy recently caught the attention of CIRM, the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine. They awarded Klein's lab a $3 million grant with the goal of learning how to create teeth with stem cells. And although he believes human applications are still years away, he says teeth offer one of the most realistic scenarios for a bioengineered replacement. Because failure of a transplanted uh, bioengineered organ into the oral cavity would perhaps be less catastrophic than failure of another organ makes it a very good prototype for trying out regenerative therapies. Now, Dr. Klein's team is also studying patients with dental birth defects, hoping to identify the genes responsible for those conditions. And stay with us. We'll be right back.